We will work to identify and apprehend the coward or cowards responsible for the brutal murder of Officer Payne. Every life is precious and the taking of any human life is unacceptable. But when a servant who has taken an oath and committed their life to protecting others is violently taken from us, we all collectively feel the pain of that loss. Twenty-two-year-old police officer Chateri Payne was preparing to report for duty and was wearing her full uniform when she was shot multiple times in the driveway of her home as she entered her police cruiser. Less than two months after she graduated from the city's police academy, she would be dead. Police in Shreveport launched a manhunt for her killer. As a cop, Shateri knew her job was inherently dangerous, but little did she know that the real threat to her life would come from someone who was supposed to love and care for her. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Shreveport, Louisiana. 22-year-old Chateri Payne was from Shreveport, Louisiana. She was a 2014 graduate of Captain Shreve High School, where she ran track. She was in a relationship with Travian Anderson. The couple had been together three years and they had a two-year-old daughter together. Travian appeared to be smitten by Chateri and expressed his deep love and admiration for her in multiple Facebook posts throughout the years. By ride or die. That's all me, she more than a crush. That's all me. She my rock that's my baby. It started as a crush, now she my backbone, my ride or die, my better half. Chateri decided that she wanted to become a police officer and after high school, she worked very hard to achieve this goal. Her first field training officer described her as better than most of the people he has trained as she picked up on everything so quick. In November of 2018, she completed her officer training, fulfilling her dream of becoming a police officer. She posted. Long days. Aching nights. But I decided to stand tall on my dream. Main lesson taught was to never lose sight of who you are and where you come from. The main thing is to build on who you are and to become an influential and better person for those who may surround me or I may encounter. My personal mission is to become that positive influence. To protect those who can't protect themselves and to at least try to push someone to being a better version of themselves. I've never claimed to be perfect, but I am taking this step and becoming a better version of myself by knowing that it is always something bigger than myself. It is an honor to be able to join such a powerful family with my brothers and sisters in blue. May the journey begin. Her boyfriend was extremely excited and proud of her. Anderson wrote on Facebook in celebrating Chateri's November 16th graduation from the police academy. It was a long journey lot of early mornings and waiting, but it worth every minute for you to chase your dream and be successful. May God continue to bless you in your career and our relationship. I am so proud of you and the woman you have became. I love you baby. That's my little officer been a long journey, but you did it. Anderson appeared to be a loving supportive boyfriend. According to Chateri's and Anderson's social media accounts, the couple was engaged to be married. But according to friends and family, at some point, the relationship had become toxic. According to Chateri's mother, Lakeitha Hudson, Anderson mistreated her daughter, treating her like a child, accusing her of infidelity, taking away her cell phone, and not allowing her friends to come to the house. Chateri's mother said that Anderson damaged Chateri's police radio. One of Chateri's co-workers said that when he questioned her about the damaged radio, she responded, let's just say I sat on it and leave it at that. Chateri's colleagues were also aware of the difficulties she faced in her personal life. Colleagues reported that she confided in them that she wanted to leave Anderson. Terry told her colleague, Corporal Stephen Gibson, that she did not want to marry Travian and that she wanted to move out. Gibson said that he could sense that she was emotional and that there was a pressing need for her to leave the house. Gibson said that he even volunteered to assist Terry in the process of looking for an apartment. Terry allegedly shared with another colleague, by the name of Detective Gatson, that Anderson had cheated on her and that she was searching for a new apartment. Gatson said he advised her to get out of that situation. Chateri had made up her mind to leave Anderson and had already found a new place to live. She put down a deposit on a new apartment and was supposed to pick up the key January 15. On January 9, as Chateri was getting into her police cruiser to start her night shift, she was shot multiple times in the driveway in front of her house on Midway Avenue. 
Jeteri's boyfriend was reportedly inside of the home at the time, with the couple's two-year-old daughter, when all of a sudden, he heard gunshots. He then grabbed his gun and stepped outside, and that's when he noticed a man who was dressed in all black and whom he said he didn't recognize, and he shot at this individual. Reportedly, when he discovered that Jeteri had been shot, he dialed 911. Officers responded to the 911 call that Anderson made, and at approximately 8.30 p.m. on January 9, they found Chateri still in uniform with numerous gunshot wounds. Chateri died about two hours later at the Ochsner LSU hospital, less than a mile away from the home. Police in Shreveport launched a manhunt for the killer. 42 have a female patient with gunshot wound to the head. All units Shreveport police say a 911 call came in at 820 Wednesday night from the 1600 block of Midway Avenue. Within minutes, officers arrived on scene and located uniformed officer Shatari Payne, who was gravely injured from at least one gun gunshot wound and was fighting for her life. Chief Raymond says Officer Shatari Payne was off duty, but in her police uniform, in her car about to leave for her patrol shift, when she was shot in the head outside a home. She was taken to Oshner Health, where she died from her injuries. Every life is precious, and the taking of any human life is unacceptable. But when a servant who has taken an oath and committed their life to protecting others is violently taken from us, we all collectively feel the pain of that loss. Chief Raymond says they're still in the early stages of the investigation and are not ruling anything out. They do not believe Officer Payne was able to discharge her firearm. Officers also found a young child inside the home and do not yet know what the child witnessed. Multiple investigative teams worked overnight and throughout the day. Other law enforcement agencies have offered their support. This morning as I address you, we have many more questions than answers, but the dedicated men and women who investigate, investigate these kinds of violent crimes for the Shreveport Police Department are the finest anywhere. We will follow every lead wherever they may take us, and we will work to identify and apprehend the coward or cowards responsible for the brutal murder of Officer Payne. As police investigated the crime and hunted for the killer, they continued to question her boyfriend about the details surrounding Chateri's murder. As they continued to question Anderson, his story began to unravel. After questioning, he was released later that night. Evidence recovered during the course of the investigation would lead detectives to develop Travian Anderson as the suspect in the murder. Investigators got a warrant to go through Anderson's phone. There, they found multiple deleted Google searches. Shooting insurance, does Aflac pay for gunshots, accident insurance, gunshot wound to arm, gunshot wound to leg, can you die from a gunshot to leg? Affidavits in the file also reveal a series of text messages between Anderson and his cousin Lawrence Pierre II that were exchanged on January 8, the day before Chateri was killed. In the messages, Anderson was informing Pierre that Chateri was getting ready for work, inquiring about how far Pierre was away from the house. They went back and forth about Chateri's whereabouts up until 8.16 p.m. when Anderson texted, outside. Two minutes later at 8.18 p.m., Chateri was shot. Dravian Anderson, the boyfriend, was arrested on the charge of second-degree murder. Anderson's cousin, Lawrence Pierre II, was also charged in the homicide, along with a friend, Glenn Frierson. Prosecutors accused them of helping Anderson plan the killing and hide the weapon. Tonight, Treeport police arrest three men they claim shot and kill SPD officer Shatari Payne. KSLA News 12 was the only station there when police booked the three men into jail tonight. Let's look at that video uh, and there are their mug shots taken just a short time ago. Treeport police charged 26 year old Travion Anderson, 22 year old Lawrence Pierre and 38 year old Glenn Frierson with second degree murder. KSLA News tells Melissa Kakarika joins us live and Melissa details are slim and these three taken into custody without police ever releasing any type of suspect description or information makes you wonder if these three were in their sights the entire time. What have you learned tonight? Well, Doug, that's information we don't know yet. Shreveport police only saying they, along with law enforcement across the region, were able to work tirelessly to track down information and evidence tonight, confirming to us those three arrests. Again, our cameras were rolling just a short time ago as they were transported to the city jail. We were the only station there. 
Police confirmed the arrest of 26-year-old Travion Anderson, who lives on Midway Avenue where the shooting happened and maybe some type of boyfriend to Officer Payne. They also tell us they've also charged 22-year-old Lawrence Pierre and 38-year-old Glenn Frierson with second-degree murder as well. We can have some peace in taking three evil cowards off of our streets. I need three officers to where I am at the scene. Payne was fatally shot in the driveway of her own home on Midway Avenue January night. She was found in her car, clothed in her uniform, heading to clock in for her shift. The 911 call came in from her boyfriend, Travion Anderson. They both have a two-year-old who was in the home. Are y'all putting out that Travion Anderson is a suspect? Thanks, Okay, I have him detained in a patrol car at this time. He advised he was inside the residence when he heard gunshots, then went outside and shot at a person wearing all black clothing. Anderson was then released after questioning. Seven days went by until arrests were finally made. The first arrest was 21-year-old Lawrence Pierre II, who was the cousin of Anderson, according to an arrest report. It says Pierre admitted to being present during the murder. It also says he voluntarily led police to where he hid the weapon. 38-year-old Glenn Frierson was also arrested. The affidavit reports he accompanied Pierre to and from the murder, but police say it was Anderson who they believed pulled the trigger. And concocted the false narrative of her being murdered by an unknown suspect. His arrest reports reads it was also his cousin Pierre who told investigators he witnessed Anderson shoot and kill Officer Payne. An examination of all of the evidence led to a second degree murder charge against all three men. Pierre pled guilty in April to one count of second degree murder. In exchange for his plea, prosecutors dropped the conspiracy charge he was also facing. He was sentenced to life in prison. Glenn Montreal Frierson also faced identical charges in Officer Shatteri's death. He pled not guilty and he was acquitted on both charges in April, but he would later be sentenced in December 2019 to 12 years in prison for firearm and drug charges. A Caddo Parish jury took less than two hours to convict Anderson. He was found guilty in April 2022 on one count of second-degree murder and one count of conspiracy to commit second-degree murder. A second-degree murder conviction in Louisiana is a mandatory life sentence. Prosecutors said that Anderson started making plans for Officer Shatteri's murder as soon as he discovered that she intended to leave him. In addition to the life sentence, Judge Mosley also ordered Anderson to serve an additional 30 years the maximum sentence on the conspiracy to commit second-degree murder charge. Judge Mosley ordered the sentences to run consecutively. The tragic loss of police officer Shatteri Payne has left a hole in the hearts of her family, friends, colleagues, and community. She was a loving mother, a loyal friend, a caring daughter, and a dedicated officer who took an oath to protect and serve her community. Shatteri was a shining example of what it means to be a police officer, always striving to make a positive difference in the lives of those around her. However, her life was cut short by the selfish act of her boyfriend, who could not accept her decision to leave him. His actions have caused immense pain and suffering for Shatteri's loved ones, including her two-year-old daughter. My condolences to her family and friends. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Officer Shatteri Payne, I thank you for your service. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.